My name is AJ, and I'm a computer science major at NYIT. I founded a company called Roomy. Roomy is an iPhone app. We help people find roommates and shared rental space. The rent is very expensive in New York, and being a student, it's really hard. You need people you know, to share the apartment with, and it's a major problem. With AJ, we are living our vision, which is engineering for society. It's someone who has looked at a problem and tried to find a solution that is also marketable. We have more than 18,000 users using the service already. This is a perfect example of a students that NYIT educates. By the time they get to their third and fourth year, Everything that they are doing is about solving real-world problems. This project started as a way to uh, consider two problems. One, that of waste, plastic waste, and one, that of a lack of shelter in disaster relief scenarios. This year, we started uh, a Kickstarter campaign. Imagine a disaster relief site. Two things will typically show up, plastic water bottles and shipping pallets. Our system reuses the bottles as roofing tiles and the pallet as beams. We're really excited because we've finally gotten our patent published. The real uh, intelligence of the system is that bottles are simply screwed on using the, the cap. It's great to learn product design because it's a new kind of element that we have here. In architecture school, we don't really get to work with products. This is the first project I've ever done that actually is being built. Usually in, in our design classes, it's sort of hypothetical, and you never see anything other than a model. During the past year, NYIT has taken on several exciting initiatives I want to congratulate faculty for really coming forward. For example, NYIT hosted its first TEDx events, very successful events. The goals and the intent of the TED conference was to put brilliant speakers on stage. And our, we knew our students were brilliant speakers, so we tried to put them next to many other brilliant speakers. Ma'am, my name is Sean, and this is a team that will be taking care of you. Can you go ahead and tell me your name, please? This is a patient simulation lab using robotic technology. Blood pressure is 109 over 50, 59. These are sophisticated robots that basically breathe, talk, have blood pressures, lung sounds, heart sounds, just like real patients. High, high blood pressure, yes, I, I take medicine. And the teams of, in this case, physician assistant students, PAs, and nursing students are going to be taking care of these patients as part of a team, as they would in any hospital setting. Hey guys, I think she's having a CVA. Can we get the stroke team down here and alert CAT scan, please? This allows students to develop the critical decision-making skills, which are the highest level of competencies. The students are shining through competitions, the background of the ASME's competition this year is to simulate uh, fighting forest fires using aerial vehicles. So we wanted it to lift as much weight as possible. It's very exciting to be able to do power calculations and all in your physics class, but then to actually see it in action on the device itself, this is fantastic. Employers hire NYT students because they are prepared to use critical thinking skills and technology to solve problems.